Hello once again people of the internet and welcome to Retro Rewind, where we take a look at and review old games to see if they're still worth your time playing. So should you play Evil Genius from 2004? So we'll start off with the first hurdle you might have when deciding to play an old game. Please to obtain, install and play. How easy is it to purchase? Well, even though it was never the most popular PC title in its heyday, it can still easily be bought from Steam, GOG.com and, strangely, even the UK retailer Game.co.uk. Installing is as you would expect via Steam and GOG, a click of a button. The game opens and plays pretty well for a 19 year old game. No hiccups or problems, booting or loading into the game, no crashes, stutters, speed ups or slowdowns. As always when it comes to compatibility your mileage may vary and I can only review based on my own experiences at the time of recording. If your only gaming system is a bit of an antique, you're in luck. This game will pretty much run on a potato. Official specs are on the screen now. Verdict. The pricing. You're looking at around £7 or $10 freedom books when buying from reputable stores. It's probably a fair price for the age and length of the game. If the price is different for you when watching this video, please let us know down in the comments. Verdict. Do the graphics hold up? The game absolutely holds up in the graphics department. The top down viewpoint really works in its favour. But even when you zoom all the way in, it's still fairly impressive. Obviously minute details such as facial features are lacking, and the CGI cutscenes are very dated. But the game itself passes. It even has some basic reflections and a night-day cycle. Verdict. Does the audio hold up? There's nothing particularly terrible about the audio. It's high definition enough to not notice any glaring issues and it does a great job of establishing the atmosphere and tone of the game. The commentating of everything you do in the game can become tiresome and repetitive, but it works. Verdict. Gameplay. The basics of the game, if not immediately obvious by the title, is that you are an evil genius. You need to build your evil lair, and hire evil henchmen, and hatch evil plots throughout the world. But those pesky secret agent spies are trying to stop you. You need to manage your resources, such as power and cash, look after your minions' well-being, or just kill them if they complain, we're not here to judge. However, as there are no gameplay speed options, this does involve a lot of waiting around as your Dub of Rocks minions fumble with explosives, delivering equipment, as well as managing their full-time jobs within your base. It definitely requires a bit of patience. Evil Genius, at its core, is a fairly simple to learn game, even if the in-game tutorials aren't the best explained in them. You can easily pick up the basics without any hassle. If you're into this style of base building slash dungeon management game, then you will absolutely love this classic gem. Verdict. Final thoughts. The reason I chose this game to be the first in the series of Retro Rewind is because it holds a place as one of those games that scratches an itch when I'm craving a management sim. There's not much replayability once you've completed it, but the campaign is long enough to tide you over for a while. Final verdict. Subscribe for more.